developing it as a still life within a setting. So there's no setting in here, except suddenly I move into a setting here all of a sudden. I want people to remember a, a typical still life, but yet again it's not typical because I have this still kept flower, flower vase, which yeah. tend to seem on a different on a different angle, on a different perspective. Yeah. You can see the bottom of the vase and the top of the vase at the same time. So it's almost like a QB painting here again. Uh, then you have these two prominent chairs, which, which is at the base of this picture. So the idea is when people look at this, you get a glimpse into this, the, the, the artist's studio. Uh, almost like reading the artist's personal space, which is a studio. Most artists paint their own personal space. Picasso does it, Van Gogh does it, Matisse does it. Every artist paints their personal studio as, as, as part and parcel of their work, uh, which I'm trying to do at the same time here, yeah? but I'm doing it in, in, a, in a different way of course, in a different approach. Ian's chair is a popular, iconic, designer's chair. Uh, and then I have this little Chinese chess, which I use it quite often in my work sometimes. You know? This is the biggest I've done. Yeah. I've done a few more uh, of the same uh, subject, but from a different studio because I move my studio in a different, different place. Over the years, I must have moved around maybe seven or eight different studios, yeah. you know? Some are in shop houses, some are in ring houses, some are in... So, this is the studio that I have in USJ, which is a whole shop house. 